In several countries, particularly poorer or developing ones, gender imbalances emerge where there are significantly more women than men. This phenomenon often leads to a large proportion of single women, and the causes behind these gender discrepancies are diverse. Factors such as economic migration, conflicts, male mortality, health disparities, and cultural issues all contribute to the phenomenon. Number 1. Ukraine This country is one of the most notable examples of a country grappling with a significant gender imbalance. The conflict with Russia, which escalated in 2014 and intensified with the full-scale invasion in 2022, has had devastating effects on the Ukrainian population. Many men have been killed in the war, while others have joined the armed forces to defend the country. This has left behind many women, particularly in regions most affected by the war. Additionally, economic difficulties and the uncertain political situation have spurred many Ukrainian men to migrate in search of better job prospects. This emigration trend, which began before the conflict, has only intensified in recent years, leaving women in a disproportionately large number compared to men. Ukrainian men tend to migrate to countries like Poland, Germany, and Russia, seeking work in industries such as construction, agriculture, and manufacturing. The war and subsequent male migration have left many Ukrainian women without marriage prospects, especially in rural areas. This demographic imbalance is expected to continue impacting the country long after the conflict ends. The social and economic consequences include reduced family formation rates and potentially more women entering the workforce, as traditional gender roles evolve in response to these demographic shifts. Number 2. Armenia This country faces a significant gender imbalance, particularly in rural areas. Male emigration is a key reason for this imbalance, as many Armenian men leave the country in search of better economic opportunities. Countries like Russia are common destinations for Armenian men seeking work, often in the construction industry. With limited opportunities within Armenia, particularly in rural regions, men often feel compelled to leave their families behind to support them financially. The result is a growing number of single women, especially in rural areas where emigration is most prevalent. This demographic pattern has led to a social shift, as women in these regions often take on more responsibilities in their households and communities. It has also impacted the traditional family structure, with fewer marriages and delayed family formation. The gender imbalance is particularly concerning for younger generations, as many young women find it increasingly difficult to find partners. Armenia's government has acknowledged the challenges posed by male emigration, and there have been efforts to improve economic conditions and create more job opportunities within the country. However, these initiatives have been slow to bear fruit, and the gender imbalance remains a pressing issue for Armenian society. Number 3. Latvia, like many former Soviet countries, experiences a significant gender imbalance. The causes of this imbalance are complex and multifaceted, but a key factor is the country's high rate of male mortality and emigration. Men in Latvia have a significantly shorter life expectancy than women, largely due to higher rates of alcoholism, cardiovascular disease, and risky behaviors among men. This health crisis has created a situation where there are far fewer men than women, particularly in older age groups. In addition to health issues, emigration plays a significant role in Latvia's gender imbalance. Many young Latvian men leave the country to seek better economic opportunities in Western Europe, particularly in countries like the United Kingdom, Ireland and Germany. The economic challenges in Latvia, including high unemployment and low wages, drive many men to migrate in search of higher paying jobs. The result is a country with a large population of single women, particularly in rural areas. The gender imbalance has social consequences including lower marriage rates and an increasing number of women remaining single or childless. Additionally, the emigration of men has contributed to a shrinking population, which poses long-term challenges for Latvia's economic development and social stability. Number 4. Estonia This country shares many of the same demographic challenges as its Baltic neighbor Latvia. The country has one of the highest gender imbalances in Europe, with significantly more women than men. Like Latvia, Estonia's gender imbalance is driven by two main factors, high male mortality and male emigration. Male life expectancy in Estonia is among the lowest in the European Union, largely due to health issues such as cardiovascular disease and alcohol-related illnesses. These health problems disproportionately affect men, leading to a significant gender gap in older age groups. Additionally, many young Estonian men leave the country to work in wealthier European nations, further exacerbating the gender imbalance. 
The result is a surplus of women in Estonia, particularly in rural areas where economic opportunities are limited. This demographic imbalance has had social consequences, including a decline in marriage rates and family formation. Women in Estonia are increasingly pursuing careers in higher education, partly as a result of the lack of available male partners. Number five, Belarus, another post-Soviet country where male emigration and health problems have created a significant gender imbalance. Many Belarusian men migrate to Russia and other neighboring countries in search of better economic opportunities, particularly in industries such as construction and agriculture. This migration trend has left many women behind, particularly in rural areas where economic opportunities are limited. In addition to emigration, Belarus faces a health crisis among its male population. Like other Eastern European countries, Belarus has high rates of male mortality due to cardiovascular disease, alcoholism, and other health issues. This has resulted in a large gender gap, particularly among older age groups. The social consequences of this gender imbalance are significant. Many Belarusian women find it difficult to marry or start families, particularly in rural areas where the shortage of men is most pronounced. This demographic trend has also led to changes in traditional gender roles, with more women entering the workforce and pursuing higher education. Number 6. Kazakhstan, a vast and resource-rich country in Central Asia, has also experienced a significant gender imbalance due to male emigration. Many young Kazakh men leave the country to seek better economic opportunities in Russia, Europe, and other parts of Asia. This emigration is particularly common in rural areas where economic opportunities are limited, and men often feel compelled to migrate in search of higher-paying jobs. In addition to emigration, Kazakhstan faces health challenges that disproportionately affect its male population. High rates of smoking, alcohol consumption, and cardiovascular disease contribute to lower male life expectancy, further exacerbating the gender imbalance. The result is a surplus of women in Kazakhstan, particularly in rural areas where male emigration is most prevalent. This gender imbalance has led to social changes, including lower marriage rates and delayed family formation. Women in Kazakhstan are increasingly pursuing education and careers, partly in response to the lack of available male partners. Number 7. Moldova, one of Europe's poorest countries, faces a significant gender imbalance due to male emigration. Many Moldovan men leave the country to work in wealthier European nations, particularly in industries such as construction and agriculture. This emigration trend has been ongoing for decades, driven by the country's economic challenges and limited job opportunities. As a result, Moldova has a large population of single women, particularly in rural areas where emigration is most common. The lack of men has had a profound impact on Moldovan society, particularly in terms of marriage and family formation. Many women find it difficult to marry or start families, and the traditional family structure has been weakened by the absence of men. In response to these challenges, Moldovan women are increasingly pursuing education and careers, as they take on more responsibilities in their households and communities. However, the long-term social and economic consequences of this gender imbalance remain a pressing concern for the country. Number 8. Georgia, a country in the Caucasus region, has experienced a significant gender imbalance due to male migration and the legacy of internal conflicts. Many Georgian men migrate to Russia, Turkey, and other neighboring countries in search of better economic opportunities. This migration is particularly common in rural areas, where job opportunities are scarce. In addition to economic migration, Georgia has been affected by internal conflicts, particularly in the regions of Abkhazia and South Ossetia. These conflicts have resulted in the displacement of many men and have contributed to the gender imbalance in some regions of the country. The result is a surplus of women in Georgia, particularly in rural areas where male migration is most prevalent. This demographic imbalance has had social consequences, including lower marriage rates and delayed family formation. Women in Georgia are increasingly pursuing education and careers, partly in response to the lack of available male partners. Number 9. Lesotho, a small landlocked country in southern Africa, has a significant gender imbalance due to male labor migration. Many Basotho men leave the country to work in South Africa's mines and other industries, often for extended periods. This labor migration has been a long-standing feature of Lesotho's economy, as the country has few economic opportunities of its own. The result is a large population of single women, particularly in rural areas where male migration is most common. 
the absence of men has had a profound impact on Lesotho society, particularly in terms of marriage and family formation. Many women are left to manage households and care for children on their own as their male partners work abroad for years at a time. The gender imbalance in Lesotho has also contributed to social changes, with more women entering the workforce and pursuing education. However, the long-term social and economic consequences of this demographic trend remain a pressing concern for the country. Number 10. Suriname, a small country in South America, faces a significant gender imbalance due to male emigration and health challenges. Many young Surinamese men leave the country to seek better economic opportunities in the Netherlands and other parts of Europe. This emigration is driven by Suriname's limited job opportunities and economic challenges. In addition to emigration, Suriname faces health challenges that disproportionately affect its male population. High rates of smoking, alcohol consumption, and cardiovascular disease contribute to lower male life expectancy, further exacerbating the gender imbalance. The result is a surplus of women in Suriname, particularly in rural areas where male emigration is most common. This demographic imbalance has had social consequences, including lower marriage rates and delayed family formation. Women in Suriname are increasingly pursuing education and careers, partly in response to the lack of available male partners. Now, if you're looking to meet single women in these countries, it's essential to consider both cultural sensitivities and practical strategies. One of the most direct ways to meet women in these countries is to travel there yourself. Whether you're interested in visiting Ukraine, Georgia, or Lesotho, traveling to these regions will give you an opportunity to meet women in person. Many of these countries are welcoming to foreigners, and by participating in local cultural events, festivals, or even volunteer programs, you can meet single women in a natural, respectful way. With the rise of technology, many single women in these countries use online dating platforms. Websites like Tinder, Badu, and specialized platforms that focus on Eastern Europe or Africa are popular ways for people to connect. When using online dating platforms, ensure you are respectful, honest, and clear about your intentions, as many women are wary of scams or dishonest behavior. Social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Vicontacte, popular in Eastern Europe, are great tools for connecting with women from these countries. You can join country-specific groups, participate in discussions, or simply connect with people through shared interests. Social media offers a more informal way to interact and learn about the local culture. In some regions, particularly in Eastern Europe, marriage agencies are common. These agencies specialize in helping foreign men meet women from their country. While some of these agencies are legitimate and respected, it's essential to do thorough research to avoid scams. Language exchange platforms like HelloTalk, Tandem, or Italki allow you to connect with women from these countries who are interested in practicing languages like English, French, or Spanish. These platforms offer an easy and educational way to form connections and potentially meet single women. Now, if you're considering marriage, there are several benefits to marrying a woman from these countries. In many of these countries, particularly in Eastern Europe and the Caucasus, family is one of the most important aspects of life. Women from countries like Armenia, Moldova, and Georgia are raised with a strong emphasis on family values, loyalty, and dedication to their loved ones. This can make for a stable and fulfilling marriage where family takes priority. Women from poorer countries have often had to overcome significant challenges in their lives, whether due to economic difficulties, political instability, or conflict. As a result, many of them are incredibly resilient and adaptable. Marrying a woman with this kind of inner strength can provide a partner who is both supportive and able to face life's challenges head on. Marrying a woman from a different country can bring a wealth of cultural experiences into your life. Whether it's learning new traditions, experiencing new foods, or participating in different holidays, having a cross-cultural relationship enriches your perspective and can strengthen the bond between you and your partner. Women from these countries often place a high value on mutual respect within relationships. Marrying a woman from Georgia or Belarus, for instance, may offer you a partner who respects traditional values, while also embracing modern ideals of partnership and equality. Because these women have often faced adversity, they tend to value deep emotional connections. Marriage to a woman from these countries can be fulfilling emotionally, as they place a strong emphasis on love, loyalty, and emotional intimacy. Now, before embarking on a relationship, take the time to learn about the country's history, traditions, and cultural values. Understanding where she comes from and what's important to her will show that you respect her background. 
For instance, women from Armenia or Georgia might place significant importance on family and religion, so being aware of these cultural markers will be vital in building trust. Communication is key in any relationship, especially when there's a cultural or language barrier. Be open and honest with your intentions and encourage her to do the same. Be patient when language differences arise and make an effort to learn her language. Even if you can only speak a few phrases, it will show that you are serious about the relationship. Respect her beliefs, values, and traditions. Women from countries like Moldova or Suriname may have more conservative values, so respecting her boundaries and understanding her worldviews is essential. Cultural differences can sometimes lead to misunderstandings, but with mutual respect, you can overcome them. Women from these countries value reliability and consistency. Given the social and economic hardships many of them have experienced, they appreciate partners who are dependable and supportive. Showing that you are serious, trustworthy, and emotionally available will help strengthen the relationship. To build a strong relationship, make sure to include her in your life and introduce her to your friends and family. This step is crucial in demonstrating your commitment and can help her feel more secure in the relationship. Involving her in your world shows that you are serious about the long-term future of the relationship. When building a relationship with a woman from one of these countries, talk openly about your future together. Whether it's about where you will live or how you plan to raise a family, having a clear vision for the future is important. Many women from countries like Kazakhstan or Belarus value stability, and discussing your long-term goals can help solidify the relationship.